what is the value of x given that you have this expression from here so let's have it be solution first let's multiply the numerator first x times x will be x square t times t will be t square equals from here t times t will be t square x times x will be x square so from here we can easily cross multiply and from here too we can easily cross multiply so when we cross multiply x times x will be from here x square times x square will be equals t square times t square x times x x squared times x squared will be x to the power of 2 plus 2. This will also be 3 to the power of 2 plus 2. And x to 2 plus 2 will be 4 equals 2 plus 2 will also be 4. Now recall that when we have a to the power of m equals b to the power of m, so that they have the same power, we can easily equate the base and this is implies a will be equals b since the power are the same. Likewise, from here too, x can be declared as 3. But I must tell you that x equals 3 is not the only solution for the problem given to us. Then let's see the other solution. We can say x to the power of 4 minus 3 to the power of 4. We set here to be equal to this side. Let's express this 4 as the product of 2 times 2, 2 times 2, minus 3 to the power of 2 times 2 equals 0. When we have a to the power of n times n can be written as a to the power of m, then you close the parentheses, then to the power of n. So likewise here, x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 as this, minus 3 to the power of 2 in parentheses to the power of 2 as this, then equals 0. This has power 2, this has power 2. It looks as when we have difference of 2 square, a square minus b square. And this one says equals a plus b in parentheses multiplied by a minus b in parentheses. Where we are going to have our a, when you equate this to the x square, then our b will be equals t d square. So from here we are going to have x square plus t d square as this and also multiply by from here x square minus t d square. Mind you everything equals zero. So from here we have this side to be this and equal to zero. What we are saying is for this expression to be equal to zero, one of these will be equal to zero. It's either we have x squared plus t to the power of 2 equals zero, or we have x squared minus t to the power of 2 equals zero. Then let's say we have case one, where we have the first problem here x to the power of 2 plus t to the power of 2 to be equals 0. Let us recall that when we have a plus b in parentheses as this to the power of 2 always equals as a square plus a b plus b square. This implies from here when you had this together a square plus b square equals a plus b square minus a b. So when you apply it here, you will see that your a is x, your b is 3. Apply it here, we are going to have x plus 3 to the power of 2 minus 3x equals 0. And from here we have x plus 3 in parentheses to the power of 2 equals 
very x by taking this one here then let's create the boost let's take the square root of both sides you can see when you take the square root of both sides this will cancel out this so we are going to have x plus td equals root t times root x so from here we have this x so from here you can see that we are not going to have the least solution so to this no least solution Even when you recall, we have x squared plus 3 squared equals 0. This is what we have. We can have this as x squared equals minus 3 squared. And so from here, x will be equals square root of minus 3 squared. And this will be equals root of 3 squared times root of minus 1. This will be equals, this will cancel this, 3 I. So no real solution for this. We only have the complex solution. Then let's go and check the case two. So for the case two, we have x square minus t square equals zero. We call that when we have a square minus b square always equals a plus b multiplied by a minus b and from here we have a to be plus x and b to be 3 when you equate this with this so this implies we have x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3 equals 0 so from here, for this uh, to be equals, you see that we have x plus 3 equals 0, or we have x minus 3 equals 0. From here, x equals minus 3. From here, x will be equals 3. So this is another second resolution for the problem given to us, where the complex solution is x equals 3i. But we don't want this. Then let us now verify. We have x divided by 3 times x divided by 3 equals 3 divided by x times 3 divided by x. When x equals minus 3, here will be minus 3 divided by 3 times minus 3 divided by 3 equals 3 divided by minus 3 times 3 divided by minus 3 minus times minus will be plus 3 times 3 will be 9 3 times 3 will be 9 from here is it going to give us 3 times 3 will be 9 minus times minus will be plus 3 times 3 will be 9 so this divided by this we have plus 1 this divided by this we also have plus 1 so this is true for x equals minus 3 when x equals 3 here will be 3 divided by 3 times 3 divided by 3 is going to be equals 3 divided by 3 times 3 divided by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 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 From here, 1 equals 1. So this is also true for x equals 3. Even if you want to check for this complex, we still have the same thing. Let's see. We have from here. 3i divided by 3 times 3i divided by 3 then it's going to be equals 3 divided by 3i times 3 divided by 3i look at this 3 times 3 is 9 i times i is i square 3 times 3 is 9 
This is also 3 times 3 is also 9. 3 times 3 is 9. I times I is also I square. This can also cancel out this. 9 divided by 9 is 1. Because 9 divided by 9 is also 1. So meaning this satisfied.